Help me! Someone's dying! Please! Didn't I make myself clear? Some Wait! Can you see me? Mm, is there a problem? Can you really see me? Tick tock! Wonderful! This is awesome! There's still hope for Misha! Oops! I, I haven't introduced myself! My name is Clocky! I'm a famous celebrity in Pentacony! My friends and I keep the peace in this small town! They are Hanu, Mr. Soda, Origami Bird, Hamster Ball Knight, and Misha! Misha's in trouble! Tick tock! Help! Help! Clocky? T, T, you mean you saw a cartoon character that doesn't exist in real life? Um, where is he? I, I can't see him. Tick tock! I guess I'm only visible to those with the innocence, kindness, and honesty of a child. Like this kid here, Cloud and Gray! <laughs> but I think you look older than me in terms of appearance. Tick tock! Tick tock! My great friend, since you can see me, then you must be able to help me! My friend Misha is in trouble! I'm begging you to help him before it's too late! Uh, is it really that bad? Well, are you gonna help this, um... Clocky, that only you can see? I don't think you're lying, as anything can happen in a dream. We can just head to the place I mentioned later. Tick tock, tick tock! Hurry up and follow me, great friend! Misha's in trouble! He's over there! Let me bring you to him! The name of Misha rings a bell to me. Uh, anyway, better check out what's going on. There's a crowd over there. Looks like something really Everyone, did happen. Please, calm down. Tick tock. <sighs> He's there. He's. Uh, everyone, please stay calm. You broke the rules, and now you're gonna have to pay the price. Punish him. Punish him. How did it come to this? What do you mean by all? See? I wasn't lying! Misha really is in trouble! Tick tock! I'm begging you, my gray friend! Begging you! Wait, are you talking to Clocky? Hmm. I'm really curious, too. Tick tock! Tick tock! It's all Stone's fault that things have turned out this way! Of all the lowlifes in Dreamville, Stone's the worst! He's a greedy man who wants to drive everyone out of Dreamville so that he can have all the precious stones to himself! He instructed his underlings to wreak havoc in the dreamscape, taking away everyone's positive emotions. Since then, the town has been filled with anxiety and disputes. We're no longer a family. As the guardian of Dreamville, I can't just sit back and do nothing. 
by using the power of clockwork, I can direct the flow of positive emotions in the dreamscape back into people's hearts. That way, everyone can patch up their differences and get along again! My great friend, I require your assistance. I have a feeling you'll be able to master the power of clockwork. After all, you're the special one who can see me. Also, you're a new visitor to this world, which means we have the element of surprise. If you take action now, we can catch him off guard. Oh, it'll be fine. I'm just demonstrating how it works. Please, close your eyes. into one. Can you feel an energy surging through your body? All we have to do is use clockwork on that cranky gangster boss and inject good emotions into him. Then we'll have won! Please bear in mind that you should never use clockwork with malicious intent. We're the guardians of Dreamville after all, tick-tock! Mind your own business, lad. I have to let that lady there know she's messed with the wrong person. me just now. Hey, he seems normal now. That's wonderful. You did it. It must have been. Otherwise, why would he suddenly be all calm and composed like this? Oh, was I about to get into a fight with that lady? Was I crazy? What's wrong with boss? What's wrong with boss? Hey, hey, may I ask you a question? Were you the one who made me simmer down earlier? I, I wasn't going you know myself. Oh, we owe it to you. If we'd laid a finger on our guests just now, we would have faced severe punishment from the Bloodhound family. I'm so sorry for stirring up all this trouble. Alas, why did I get so worked up all of a sudden? It's, uh, it's, it's baffling. Oh, my great friend! You have to tell him that stone is behind this. Stone? Uh, I, I'm not sure I get what you mean. Uh, anyway, uh, I owe everyone a proper apology. Uh, gang, gang, uh, line up and say sorry to our honored guests, huh? Uh, um, sure. Oh, okay, uh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Ready? Go! Really sincere. In that case, can you ask them to leave now? Sure thing. Uh, you're the boss. Hey, gang, let's give our VIP some space, eh? <laughs> yes, yes, boss. Ah, <sighs> we meet again. Are you the one who helped settle everything down here? Misha, are you acquainted with this great friend of mine? He's an esteemed guest whom I befriended recently. I told you about him before. Does it ring a bell? Oh, it's him! Anyway, thanks a lot. If you hadn't gotten here in time, whew, I would have been in a real mess. <sighs> Thank you. I'm 
I'm surprised we get to see each other again so soon. About all the commotion just now, I heard a bunch of masked fools were causing a ruckus on the streets. I happened to be passing through, got stopped for questioning, and there were some misunderstandings along the way. Anyway, I owe you another one. Is this lady... your friend, too? <laughs> well, we've only met each other once before, but he is a kind soul for helping me at the hotel. It's my pleasure to meet you, beautiful lady. The beautiful lady? By the way, what did you do to that man earlier? It was like someone took him on an emotional roller coaster. I was wondering about that too. What happened back there exactly? That's right! It was me! Clucky! Of course, you played a big part too. Without you doing the clockwork, Dreamville would have been in some real trouble. Clocky? Yes, that cartoon character. I think he's shown up in reality, I mean in the dreamscape. I don't really know how a cartoon character could show up around here, but according to our friend here, only honest people with childlike innocence can see him. It seems like I'm too old to qualify for that. If Clucky really exists, that can explain a lot of things. Huh. Can you see me too? I can feel the presence of something inexplicable next to you. But it's a shame that I can't communicate with him like you can. We can both perceive these extraordinary things in the dream, probably due to our ability to react to Memoria. You're more attuned to it than I am. I thought your heightened perception was caused by something the elegant memo keeper might have left in your mind. Now it seems to me there are many more special beings like her in this dream. Shortly after we parted ways, I met a lady wearing a black veil who was also a guest at the hotel. We had a good time talking about the event over drinks. It's a shame that I forgot to ask her for her name. I only know that she's from the Garden of Recollection. Garden of Recollection? <gasps> Is that the group that serves the Eon of Remembrance? Exactly. They traverse freely between different worlds as mimetic entities and are only visible to certain people. Doesn't she sound very much like that flocky you saw? After all, it is a grand event held by the family. The guest list could be a lot longer than we imagine. Once again, thank you for being kind to me. I wish you a great time in the dream, and I shall not interrupt your... date? No! We're not on a date! <laughs> <laughs> She's gone. Well, shall we? I'll let you get back to your beeswax. Thanks, my great friend. I really appreciate your help. The Nameless are indeed a bunch of talented people. May our paths cross again. May our paths cross again. Tick tock. Please come with me. <laughs> <laughs>